Hey guys, April 28, 2022, we are looking at NOK, Nokia, a favorite amongst many retail traders, kind of mine favorite to my, uh, a favorite of mine as well. I um, haven't played it in a while. Let's see what's going on for today. So if we take a broader scope, a broader picture of what the stock has been doing on a 20 day scale, it has been on a downward trend, which was broken maybe what, six days ago, which is good to see. But then it started to form that downward trend again, just to let us down even more by a steep, steep drop for today. But um, those of you who don't know, the overall market took a dip midday and then popped right back up around one. So I feel like a little bit of this dip was warranted by the actual stock um, with a, a com combination of the overall market. So that's why you see this big, steep dip. Um, this stock is playing below the, the trend cone, so I would stay away from the stock until it can get somewhere in this range, and then we can look for um, a possible reason to validate our taking a long position. But let's check out the news to see <clears throat> if there's anything salient that happened, and it's not just, you know, arbitrarily decided to fall down. So NOK, it says press release, NOK, financial reports for quarter one um, earnings schedule for today rise as strong 5g demand leads to an earnings beat um, quarter one compar comparable earnings higher net sales 5% revenue growth demand leads so I guess they had a good um, good earnings report but I don't know why it went down so strongly let's zoom in a little bit more because these broader um, charts can't really show you what's going on. Yeah, right out the gate, guys. Boom. <clears throat> Didn't see VWAP or the top of VWAP until 11.15 <clears throat> Eastern, Eastern time. And it had trouble for a while, but it's finally above VWAP. Don't know what it's going to do tomorrow. But as far as trends... I guess, uh, no, we'll be reaching because even if you try to set an upward trend here, it it broke it to where now it's some sideways action, guys. So, um, yeah, I guess I would have to sit this one out the first maybe 15, 30 minutes of the day tomorrow and try to see if I can formulate a prediction of where the stock is going to move. Yeah, because usually I like to see signs the day before, but I'm not seeing that with this stock. But there is another stock we can check out. So I think one more stock would be AT&T, a goodie but a favorite. Man, I remember growing up with AT&T. A connection dial-up was horrible. So we're looking at a five-day um, chart. And you can see we've been playing with the stock for a while because we have previous graphs and um, lines and trends. But as of the last five days, let's zoom in, zoom out, sorry, for a 20 day scope just to get an idea of what we were thinking and what, how it played out. So it looks like we did form some type of trend. Uh, I'm not too sure if that was made loosely or just off the cuff, but mm, I would say a range is forming now to where it's showing some support at 1905. And um, I guess you can say some resistance here in 1960. Um, yeah, I'll say 1960, even though I kind of like this resistance up here at 2015, to be honest with you guys, because we had a double top, as they call it, one here about, what, 10, 15 days ago, and then one here about five days ago. So uh, it's your call. You can either, let's zoom in just a little bit so I can tell you what I'm thinking. So it's your call. You can either tomorrow try to short it once it gets uh, somewhere around 1960 for a quick 30 cent drop back to 1930, 1920. Or if you feel like it's going to break this range, you can now play in this new range that's between 2020, yeah, 2020 to 1960. What I would do is wait for it to break this range here. And hopefully if it does continue to go up to 10, 2020, I was shorted up here. So if you want to know what I'm 80% sure what would happen or what I would do, not what would happen, what I would do, I would wait for it to get closer to 2020. And then I'll put a short position to come back down somewhere around 19, 1918 to 1960. Um, 
And as far as news, did we cover the news? No, we didn't. Do that real quick. Um, so it says AT&T, uh, come on. AT&T awarded $15 million, 11-year contract to modernize Army National Guard. Woohoo! Yeah, received a $15 million uh, award. Uh, correction to AT&T first earnings headline, April 21st. Um, Warner Brothers. Yeah, so that's good enough news for this stock to be moving up. Made sense. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad this stock is... Um, wasn't affected by the overall market because everything's a good dip today and for the stock stock to go against that grain or go against that is a, a good testament of what can be expected um, in the future so tomorrow I'm hoping this stock moves up and if it does move up um, like I say around this range I'm looking to short it guys so that's my opinion for today thank you for checking out the video I hope to see you on the next video bye